Now then people, welcome back to the Just Show Football Show. I thought I would do a bit of a match day experience, match day vlog for of course my first away day of the season. Um, it's actually like a home fixture for me, obviously living in Sunderland, um, I'm going to get on the metro through to Haymarket, off Haymarket, have a walk through Newcastle, meeting uh, someone for my ticket outside the steps, you know what I mean, anyone who's been to Newcastle away knows about these steps. Um, it's going to be quite a climb up there. It's a good job I put training in. I feel like the Yorkshire Free Peaks was training for these steps. Um, <laughs> but yeah, look, I'm really confident ahead of the fixture. I've said so on social media. I'm going for a 3-0 Leeds United win. Everyone's concerned about Alan St. Maximan. It'll probably come back to beat, bite me, but it's what it is. Put your neck out on the line. I don't rate him. Of course, listen, you can take on 11 men on a football pitch as often as you want. But if there's no end product, then what does it matter? Do you know what I mean? I just I just get them vibes. Obviously, we heard throughout the day that Rafinha and Harrison may be missing. Rafinha's picked up a knock. I'm led to believe Harrison's got COVID. However, I've just been told or heard through the grapevine that, that Rafinha's good. Um, I don't know how true that is. Listen, I told you about the O'Brien link before when I was ITK and that blew up in my face. Uh, but this is some more ITK stuff for you that I think Rafinha's good to go. But listen, Dan James on that left-hand side against Jacob Murphy, who is not a right-back playing at right wing back, you know, you've got Matt Ritchie playing at left wing back, again, not a left back, and they have Rafinha and Dan James running at him. I just think, ugh, we've got too much joy to be, and, and then to get past them full backs, and then run a, 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 a leaky defence, a defence that's not pacing, Kieran Clark, Mankio, I don't know, Lascelles, whoever it is, they're just not up to standard, so I, I, I'm really confident of a Leeds United win. Um, and and it, I think it's going to kickstart our season. And I look at Rodrigo and I think this is the perfect game for him to kickstart his season. Is all he needs is a good performance and a goal and then he kicks on, you know. I'm really confident. It may be misplaced, but this is what Leeds United does to me. Um, but yeah, I'm going for uh, a 3-0 Leeds United win. I'm that confident. But I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted throughout, man. I hope you enjoy it. Peace out now. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds! Not only have I had to climb up fucking Mount Everest with that fucking 
them stairs, it turns out my seat's on the back of the fucking road. So I'm right up in the gods. I'm scared of ice. This is good, right? I'll show you just a second. You can see the Gen, it gen feels like like a loss. Um, so frustrated, you know. Like if we'd have scored that second there, we'd have battered them, battered them. <laughs> Genuinely, they're bad. They're bad. Alan St. Maxim had the only outlet. The only time Newcastle got up was when he was on the ball. I still think his pants as well. That's what I mean. Yeah, he scored a goal and that, but yeah, I said he had no end product and he scored, didn't he? <laughs> 
but yeah listen i hope you enjoyed the vlog i don't want to say too much because i'm going to save it for my post match but let me know if you like the vlog and smash a like on it and yeah make sure you check out the post match as well have a nice weekend if you can peace out <laughs>